Three, two, one. I'll call the meeting of the Nashua Board of Assessors to order at 9 a.m. on Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Let the record show that present from the board are Jay Mankara and myself, Robert Early. Can I get a motion to waive the reading of the public minutes from the Board of Assessors meeting held on Thursday, no, uh, October 5th, accept them in place on, on file? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Can I get a motion to waive the reading of the non-public minutes from the Board of Assessors meeting held on Thursday, October 5th, accept them and place them on file? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Okay. Next item on the agenda is communications with Jennifer Zins. Jennifer? Good morning, board. Good morning. Uh, just a quick update. The We had several um, classes in the past few months that uh, between the assessors and the admin staff take and complete, one of which is the state statutes to um, Cade, as well as Sarah took that and has completed um, that course. So they are learning the RSAs as we speak, so which is a huge feat in itself. Typically, that is a class that they don't have on an annual basis, um, but it is a necessary class in order to succeed in the assessing world. So that was a huge accomplishment of Cade and Sarah. Uh, then the entire staff, we went for a de-escalation class. Um, this was, we were referred by the Department of Revenue to, that it might be, um, a, it was a strong suggestion on their part that we may be interested in, in taking part in. And it was a phenomenal class. I strongly uh, suggest that the municipality may um, bring that to light for other departments. It was, um, extremely valuable class in my opinion again just my opinion now an update on the abatement slash appeals out of the 300 plus abatements we had approximately 48 appeals through the VTLA um, zero through the court and we are still diligently working on them I know that we have had um, success in contacting and trying to meet with the settlement meeting order requests and um, go from there. Any commercial ones, we will be referring to the legal department. Um, but for the residential, we're working, actively working, and I say act we, just as actively working on those as we speak. So that is the update. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Any, any questions, Jay? No. Nor do I. Um, the next item on the agenda, old business is none. New business, Jessica Marchant, abatements. Thank you. Uh, first thing I have is, as Jen mentioned, our first um, appeal settlement, basically. Um, some paperwork I gave you, just noted for your reference, if you remember, this is 18 Carson Circle, and we did present it at an uh, earlier meeting this year, and they did receive a small abatement. Um, that was just for a small data corrections um, after speaking to the owner over the phone and reading their abatement application through. I was able to make a few changes, um, but this home did uh, have a fire and was re the interior was rebuilt over the course of 2021 and 2022. So um, the small data corrections didn't make much difference. Um, they did receive a small abatement. So they did do an appeal, and uh, since then, I have fully inspected the property interior and exterior, and there were a few more data corrections um, since we were able to get in the property and actually see what the rebuilt home looks like. So with the new data corrections, the value has gone down again, and so I am recommending to grant this additional abatement bringing the value down again to 465.3, and the um, owner has signed the settlement agreement and is agreeable to settle at the 465.300 uh, value. So I am recommending approval of this abatement for 18 Carson Circle for 2022. Any questions, Jay? No. Um, Jessica, the, uh, the, the unit had a, the home had a fire and was repaired 
and after that, after those repairs, it still had data corrections that lowered the value? Usually, I would think it would go so the So what line. happened was during the, the fire was right also during the reval, the rebuild was during the reval. Um, so I think when Vision went out to do their inspections for the reval, they weren't able to get inside. But knowing, with the building permits on record, knowing that the house was brand new, essentially, they might have overestimated a few things oh, on the okay. inside. Um, and so after seeing it, actually, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't rebuilt and then also, you know, upped in, you know, it was just sort of basic construction right. level um, put back together. It wasn't added to, you know, so we were able to confirm that. Okay, thank you. Um, can I get a motion to approve the abatement for 18 Carson Circle? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Next one, Jessica. Uh, we do have one other item here, which is uh, just clean up on um, a fire proration, which essentially is an abatement. Um, this this was back for 2021. So this abatement um, recommendation for approval is a 2021 abatement. They had the fire um, in May of 2021. And so what happens with the fire proration is it's a, it's a, after the fact rebate. So we have to wait until that tax year is over, which is March 31st. We have to figure out what the taxes were for the whole year, and then we figure out how many days they couldn't use the home. So it was from May until March. Then we figure out what the daily tax was and subtract out, okay, well they couldn't use it for all these days. So they deserve a, a refund uh, because they have to keep paying it as it goes forward because you don't have a tax rate. So. The refund is for 2021. It's now been, um, you know, 2022, we already had the fire code on it, so the value was reduced f for just the land and whatever building structure might have been left on the property. So the 2022 is fine, and then for 2023, the home was rebuilt and back um, at a new value, new higher value, because it's fully built. So the only issue is to give them the refund they deserve for 2021, the year they couldn't use the home. So I'm recommending approval of that abatement for 14 Cedar Street. Any questions, Jay? No. I don't have any either. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the abatement for 14 Cedar Street for 2021? So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Uh, is that it, Jessica? That's all I have. Thank you. You don't, you don't have the one for six Great Stone Drive, do you, Greg? So, I don't. Was that last month? Um, that was heard a while ago. That's just um, a settlement. Uh, you, you guys had already agreed to the um, oh, okay. abatement. That was just a settlement agreement that needs to be signed by you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. The taxpayer had finally signed the settlement agreement. Mm -hmm. So that's in the signature documents? Yes, so that's a signature item. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is public comment. Sir? All set, sir. You're all set? Uh, comments by members of the board, Jay? I have none. Nor do I. Uh, the next item would be to go into non-public session. Can I get a motion to go into non-public for two reasons? First, to discuss matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of this board, unless such person requests an open meeting. This exemption shall extend to include any application for assistance or tax abatement or waiver of a fee, fine, or other levy if based on inability to pay or poverty of the applicant pursuant to RSA 91-A colon 3, Roman numeral 2, parentheses C. Second, under 91-A colon 3, Roman numeral 2, section L, parentheses L, for the consideration of legal advice provided by legal counsel, either in writing or orally, to one or more members of the public body, even where legal counsel is not present. Can I get us someone to make that motion? So moved. I'll second that. I have to take it by roll call. Jay Mancara? Yes. Robert Early? Yes. We will now be in non-public session at 9.09 a.m. <laughs>